let's quickly have a look at the agenda. So we'll run through uh, benefits of document management system. In short, we call it DMS. And then we'll take a deeper dive in the product and we look at the actual uh, demonstration. So let's look at the benefits. So the first thing is, it's a Visionetics document management system, in short DMS, is developed in Sage 300 SDK, which means the buttons or functionality of DMS has been added to the standard Sage 300 screens. You'll see that shortly when I uh, do the demonstration. So that's the biggest advantage. It sits inside the Sage 300 like any other module. You can easily attach digital electronic documents to the Sage 300 uh, transactions. Documents can be managed directly from any Sage 300 workstation. Microsoft Office and other file types like PDF, JPEG, all are supported. So you can attach any type of document in the document management system. All the files are safely and securely secured in a binary format in a separate SQL database. So if your Sage database is, say for example, SAMDAT, the documents are stored in a DMS database. So there's no way it slows your Sage down. Multiple file formats can be stored against each transaction. Uh, you can easily drag and drop emails, files to the DMS system, so it's easy to capture that way. Any documents that are stored in the DMS, you can directly email it from the uh, DMS software. You can scan multiple pages of the documents. And the DMS module is designed to be very easy to use, and it's also very quick and easy to implement as well. It takes around half a day to install, implement, train, and get everything up and running. So let's look at the actual software now. So once the document management module is installed, it will show up like any other module. So in my case, you can see over here, I've got document management module, and we'll look at the accounts payable. So as you may be familiar with the AP invoice entry screen, once the DMS module is activated, you'll see these four buttons at the bottom of the screen. And these four buttons, you'll see it in every DMS screen where DMS is supported. And it's based on the standard screen of Sage and just added the four buttons. The show document, when you've already attached a document, you can view it using the show document. Scan document allows you to seamlessly scan the documents directly from the Sage screens. Attach documents, if you've already got the file in an electronic format, you can attach it. And manage allows you to delete and rename the descriptions. So let's look at uh, each of these buttons now. Let's say attach document. So once I have done my uh, transaction entry, say an invoice entry, I've done a transaction entry, I go to attach document. I can either drag or I can browse. But also in the screen, you'll notice, you'll see some summary information. So it actually tells me what batch I am, what entry I am, what is the document total, and what's the vendor. So I can always ensure that I'm selecting the right transaction to attach the document to. So I'll browse, and I'll select the invoice and I click on Upload. So now what it has done, it has taken the PDF from my C drive and uploaded it into a DMS SQL database in a binary format. So even if I delete this PDF, it doesn't matter, I've already got a copy in my database. Now what I can do is if I can go Show Documents now, once I've attached, if I go Show Document, I'll be able to see the invoice over there. And right from the Sage 300 screens, I can view the actual source document. Now, a lot of times, uh, you know, we don't only get electronic documents, we, but a lot of, uh, you know, important information are on emails these days. So what I can do, I can actually file an email as well. I'll go to attach. And this time I'm going to say I want to load an email. A quick uh, pop-up button comes up on top. I go to my email and I drag the email I want, and I just drop it over there. And it basically says a document has been uploaded. So now if I go to show documents, I've got two transfer, two um, transactions attached to it, or two documents attached to it. One is the actual PDF, and the other is the email. And if I view that email, it opens Outlook, and I can view that. So even if the email is deleted from your Outlook, it doesn't matter. A copy is filed against that particular transaction. So quite handy, you know, for if you want to capture additional information. But you'll also notice that 
what has happened in, against this invoice, we now have filed two documents against that. So the DMS module supports unlimited number of documents per transaction. In an invoice, you could have the invoice, you, know, you could have your warranty information, you could have the actual quotation, the sign-offs, all those license information, you can file that as well. Now what we can also do, let's look at the scan button. Now not every time we will get documents in a digital format. In those cases, you can use the scan document option. Now I've got a flat uh, scanner attached to my laptop and um, I'll just do a scan. So this helps me to capture the documents quickly. You, know, you don't have to go and scan the document and save it as a file and then attach it. Right from the Sage 300 screens, you just say scan and it scans the document and you can see the preview. If I want to enlarge that, I can do that. I can look at the invoice. Yeah, that's the one I'm actually after. Once I'm happy, and I'll just do upload. And there you go. The document has now straight away filed in the document management module. So the function for this is to easily capture trans, uh, documents quickly in the DMS module. It also supports multi-page PDFs. Like if you look at Telstra bill where it's multi-page and you want to save it as one document, it supports that as well. Any twin compatible scanners are supported. So we've looked at show document, scan document, attach document. So let's look at the manage document. I've already filed three separate documents. Now maybe I want to go delete one. I can go over here and maybe I don't want uh, this one, so I'll delete that. Or oh, instead of a new laptop, uh, I should have actually called it, um, you know, a Dell laptop. So I can do that update as well. And we'll see later on how handy this will become in the search option. So DMS module um, is available in the accounts payable functionality in the invoice against the vendor, against the payment. So let's look at against the vendor now. Same four button comes up again. And usually against the vendor, you can actually file in the actual contract. Like in this case, I've got a help desk contract uh, with microchannel. Uh, so I've actually filed that as well. Now, maybe I want to actually email that to my colleague. So I can quickly, I can view it over here. But what I can also do is click on email, select that. And click on email. So what it has done, it has quickly taken the document out from the document management module and put a copy in my Outlook to send to somebody. So I can send it to my colleague over here. So that's quite handy um, to pass documents around. Or anybody who has access to size 300, they can go and uh, view it directly from there. Now, quite handy for the auditors or the managers um, who, know, who later on wants to look at documents. So if I go to vendor activity, if the users are gonna capture the document in the first place at the invoice entry level. So if I go to the vendor activity and I look at an invoice, if you don't have a document management module, this is how far you can go currently with your Sage 300 systems. But by adding the document management module, I highlight the, the transaction I want and I click on show documents and I'll be able to see all the source document file against that. So now I can see that actual invoice that was filed against that, the source documents. So quite handy for managers um, or the even auditors uh, that come to your office and you can say, here's the transactions, uh, you know, look at whatever you want. Uh, while in a more traditional environment, you have to go and you can find it to get the physical file and look for that information and then provide it. So it saves us quite a bit of time. In the payment batch, you can attach documents to the payment batch as well. Right, so you may have a, you know, generally EFT payments are done, so there's no need to attach it. But if you did an overseas TT and you like to attach a copy, you can do that. But also quite useful is um, when I'm doing a payment entry and I'm selecting an invoice and say invoice number 77898, uh, and I want to view the source document related to that invoice. I can just highlight that and click on view invoice documents, and I can see the actual documents. So before actually doing the payment, I may wanna look at the purchase order or the invoice 
or you know an email that actually confirms that any of the information I've got another invoice over here let's look at that one and that has multiple documents so I can I can see there's two uh, actual documents attached to that particular transaction as I said it supports unlimited number of uh, documents per transaction one of the challenges with the IP module uh, is searching right? if you search anything you have to search by vendor but using the DMS module it allows you to do a global search against the module so I can go I know there's an invoice and there's some invoice I had um, bought something for regarding a laptop so I can just search for laptop and it brings up all the entries that has a document attached with the description laptop so I can see that okay batch number 140 entry number one and I can actually view the source document from there as well so searching is is a bit better using the document management module as well so the document management functionality um, is available as I've said on the invoice vendors and payments module you can inquire from the vendor activity in accounts receivable module it's available again in the IR invoice against the IR customer quite handy to you know if you sign some contracts with a customer you can attach the um, contracts against the customer you can also attach it against the receipt and same concept of um, customer inquiry you can do the same thing of looking at the transactions uh, from the customer inquiry in the general ledger you can attach it to the uh, batch list so quite handy if you somebody has sent an email to do a journal and you can actually attach that email to the journal so that later on you know what um, that what was the reason for doing the journal in the inventory control module it's available under the items and all the master files and also on the transactions in the order entry module it is again available in all the transactions um, so if I look at um, item over here say a desk lamp I go to the image and I've attached an uh, actual image of that item so I'm actually selling some desk lamps and I've attached the image of the desk lamp now what I can do if I'm on the order entry module for those customers who use order entry and purchase order module you can attach documents against the the order entry itself so mostly in order entry you may attach the signed uh, signed quotation or the actual purchase order of your customer so you can attach that but what you can also do is when you're selling the line item you can highlight the item and say view item it will show all the documents linked to that item now this could be quite handy I mean I've attached uh, image but you know for those customers who, who have some technical information about that item uh, or whether some warranty information or any kind of documents that you want to keep against that item you can link it against the item master and that information can be accessed from the order entry or the purchase order screens so it's quite easy for the users to quickly get those information where required the document management module supports the standard security of sage so like any other module I'll go to I can give full rights or I can give view rights maybe only I want to give IP view rights so by each module you can give access whether the user have manage right they can scan and attach documents or they can view so in my case this if you've got a view option you can't attach documents but you can view documents so it supports the standard security of sage as I've said earlier on um, the good thing about this uh, product is it's very quick and easy to implement as you can see that the functionality has been added to the standard sage screens so it is very quick to train your users on how to use this product 